Today, of course, is 9-11. 19 years ago, terrorists hijacked four airliners and crashed them in New York City, D.C., and Pennsylvania. Nearly 3,000 Americans died that day. Today, the armed forces here in Hampton Roads remembered with several solemn ceremonies. Here's Mike Gooding. 19 years after the worst terrorist attack in U.S. history, the Navy remembers 9-11. Sailors, some of whom may not even have been born that awful day, gathered at Naval Station Norfolk for morning colors to stand solemnly and observe as old glory was unfurled. The commanding officer of the world's largest naval base said the lessons from 9-11 are still very much applicable today, nearly two decades later. Absolutely. It, it shows that, uh, that the homeland is, is no longer a sanctuary and we cannot let our guard down. The day is very personal for first responders like Navy Region Mid-Atlantic Fire Captain and Yonkers, New York native John Mitchin, who says the 9-11 story must always continue to be told. Yes, always keep telling the tale, never forget. That's a motto that we need to drill in all these young kids' head. Never again. On the peninsula, Hampton VA Police Sergeant Brian Skipworth did what he does every year. He ran with an American flag to honor the fallen. Meantime, back at the Navy base, the ship named for the Pentagon 9-11 crash site also paused to remember. The USS Arlington held a formal ceremony, and crew members also participated in a memorial run. The CO says it was important. I think we have a tendency to forget uh, the past a little bit, and so our duty, I think, as a ship, and our motto actually is to never forget. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. There are a lot of events around Hampton Roads today to remember 9-11. In Chesapeake, the city held its annual remembrance ceremony at City Park. There's a permanent 9-11 memorial there, which includes a five and a half ton steel beam from the World Trade Center, along with artifacts from the Pentagon and Shanksville, Pennsylvania. 13 News Now visited a handful of different 9-11 remembrance events today, and you can see more from them at 13newsnow.com.